LSU head coach Ed Ogeron said on Thursday after practice that starting offensive tackle Austin Deculus and starting safety Grant Delpit will both be out versus Arkansas on Saturday. He didn't mention a new starter in the defensive backfield. I think Mo Hampton's going to start. We'll let Mo Hampton start, and, and uh, he's been doing very well. Uh, we're, we're Coach Bush is very pleased with his progress. He's developed, obviously. He came in, and uh, there wasn't a lot of room back there, but with the injuries, uh, he's moved up on the charts. He's able to do the things that we expect him to do at safety. Very good athlete. We knew he was going to be a great player. I think it was a matter of, of his time and learning the system. I'm excited to see Mohan. Now, he can still retro, though, right? He, I'm trying to remember. He has not played. He's played special teams. Oh, he has. Okay. Let me check. Brody, Brody Miller put out a, a, actually a list earlier on who push, can still redshirt. There's not a push to redshirt him because he's probably going to be an early draftee to the MLB drafts. Ah, in a couple that of years. makes sense. Either way, I'm excited to see him in a larger role get a little peek into the future. Ogeron yesterday was talking about his quarterback, Joe Burrow, and how he compares to the Saints quarterback, Drew Brees. You know, I spent one year in the Saints with Drew Brees. I'm not saying he's Drew Brees or nothing like that, but that was one of Drew's best qualities was his pocket present and his footwork. I remember Drew uh, contributing to playing tennis when he was young with his eyes and his hands and his feet down there. Joe was a great athlete, make plays with his in space. I think it's been the deciding factor in some of the games. He's run away from some pressure and made some big plays down the field. LSU returns to Tiger Stadium to take on Arkansas for a chance to clinch the SEC Western Division title. Kickoff is set for 6 o'clock on ESPN. Your Eagle 98.1 pregame starts at 1 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. LSU running back Clyde Edwards-Alaire, one of the most versatile players in college football, has been named one of 10 semifinalists for the Doak Walker Award, which is issued each year to the top running back in college football. Edwards-Alaire is the only player from the Southeastern Conference on the semifinalist list. LSU recruiting Jalen Lee, defensive tackle out of Live Oak, has decommitted from the class. LSU now has 24 commitments in the class. If you remember Lee, he actually broke his commitment right here on off the bench. LSU now has four defensive tackles still committed to its 2020 class. Expect more movement and more massaging of the numbers as they come down the uh, stretch before signing day. I will always be a Jalen Lee fan since he chose to take his talents to OTB to announce that commitment. I wish him nothing but the best, and I hope if he ever runs up against LSU that he kicks their ass and makes them pay. Really? Yeah, man. Squad, we got, you're not going to ride with our guy? Up until he sees him. Oh, wow. The Tigers yeah, I'm in Jamaica. Loyal. LSU will face Utah State tonight at 6 o'clock. They'll face Rhode Island on Sunday at 1.30. The games will be televised on the CBS Sports Network and broadcast to the affiliates on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Eagle 98.1 for you tonight on Sunday that can be heard on 100.7. The Tigers, the Saints, will be on Eagle 98.1. Speaking of the Saints, looks like the Saints will be without cornerback Marshawn Lattimore in the second straight game. He did not practice yesterday because of a hamstring injury. Andrews, Pete, Deontay Harris, and Zach Line also missed practice. But offensive lineman Larry Warford and Ryan Ramchick were, uh, were upgraded to full participants. The Saints will host Carolina on Sunday, and that will continue the stretch of four consecutive games against NFC South rivals. Here's Demario Davis talking about the challenge that Christian McCaffrey and the run game bring for Carolina. Um, I mean, I feel like every week we know we're going to have to stop the run and there's different facets to the game that we're going to have to pay our attention to. Um, but we talk about a guy like uh, Christian McCaffrey. I think he's probably, you know, the second closest thing to, our, to, to AK. I mean, um, the way he's able to shift and motion out of the backfield, the way he's able to make guys miss in the open field, um, that alone is special. So that's something, again, that we, we've noticed and, and you know, we'll have to stick to all of our details. That was Cam Jordan talking about the rush attack from Carolina. Sunday noon kickoff for you in the Dome. The New Orleans Pelicans, or last night, real quick on NFL football, Thursday night football, DeAndre Hopkins had a monster game, couple of scores for the Houston Texans as they beat the Indianapolis Colts. 20-17 to 17 on Thursday night NFL football. NBA action, Brandon Ingram had 15 of his 28 points in the fourth quarter. And J.J. Reddick scored 26, leading uh -oh. the Pelicans uh -oh. to a 124-121 win over the Phoenix Suns on Thursday night. Drew Holiday had 23 points and 9 assists for the Pelicans, who earned their third straight win. Next up for the Pelicans, they're in Utah on Saturday night to take on the Jazz. I mean, don't look now, folks, but the New Orleans Pelicans trust in David Griffin, trust in the process 
a game and a half now out of the A seed after taking that game off Phoenix. Let's go. Jazz are going to be a nice test. Jazz sitting at 9-5. and five. Uh, But like I said, the Pelicans winners of 5 or 7. As Mincy says, when you're hot, you're hot. Won't bow down. Block up. A thriller last night in Hammond for the River Bell as Nichols defeated Southeastern. What a game. 28-27 to earn an automatic berth into the FCS playoffs. Chase Forcade threw a 57-yard touchdown pass to Dejon Dixon with 90 seconds left. That turned out to be the winning score. Southeastern had a chance to win it in the final seconds, but Lions quarterback Cole Kelly fumbled trying to get the ball into the end zone. Kelly, uh, Arkansas oh, wow. transfer, 4K, finished the night with 288 yards passing, three touchdowns, and one turnover. Nichols now 8-4 and four on the season, 7-2 and two in the Southland Conference, and as we said, earns that automatic bid to the FCS.